Well, as you can see, I got it running pretty good, folks. Uh, I ended up putting the engine in this morning. Give it a good uh, little run. I only put about a liter of gas in it, so it is uh, running out of fuel. So if I go over a jump, it seems to uh, run out of fuel because the fuel kind of goes up to the air. So anyways, that's probably it for the build on this snow machine and this snowmobile engine. So I do plan on doing a lot of other stuff in this channel. So thank you for sticking around and we're going to keep, uh, keep plugging away on this uh, channel. We're going to see what we can do and uh, if, it's, if it's worth doing. I am going to keep doing it no matter what. So I do plan on doing a lot of other things on this channel, not just building snowmobile engines, but I had to get this out of the way because this little machine here, I've had these for a long time when I was younger and I think when ski -Doo built these, they hit the mark just right with these machines. This is a 340cc body with a 399 engine in it I put in there. Um, I think it's going to work out quite great, folks. So if you enjoy the videos, please hit that bell notification. And the more comments you folks leave and the more likes, the more I appreciate that. So uh, let's get on with the video and hope you enjoy it. I'm going to get editing this and hope hopefully you folks like it. I ended up getting the engine back in this old beast, as you can see down here. It's all bolted in, all ready to go. Uh, I don't know if I need, I think I have to adjust the carburetor a little bit because it is leaning out a little bit, but even at that, it still goes pretty darn good. I'm gonna start that up. I'm gonna show you how it goes. The key turned on. Yes, the key is turned on. Give her a shot of primer. All right, well, I don't have the seat bolted on and it doesn't need a little tinkering yet, but uh, I'm going to show you. This thing does about 65 mile an hour right now, but it's got to be tuned up. The colder it gets, the better it'll run, but 65 of these old machines are not too bad. I don't even think I can see through these. Well, I guess I can see a little bit, hey? I'm going to go up the road and I'm going to hold her down. I'm going to head down and we're going to see how she runs. That seat's not bolted on, so hopefully I stay on. <laughs> Let's see what we can do with this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
you can see, it's running pretty darn good. It is running out of gas, so I only put in like uh, a little over a liter of gas in there, mixed gas, so <laughs> the fuel line when I go over a snowbank, the fuel line bounces out of the fuel, but I'm gonna fill her up full of fuel maybe day after tomorrow, and uh, we're gonna give that a good shot. Those were one of my favorite machines back in the day. They're so dependable, they're easy to work on, and uh, I think when ski do Bombardier built those things, I think they got it right. I think uh, that's a really good. And it's 16 and a half inch wide track, where most of the ones we have here is only 15 inch, except that big Alpine there. That is two 15 inch wide tracks, so it's twice the width. Well, that's, that's 215, so that's uh, 30 inch. And this is 16 and a half. So this had two, wide, two tracks, it'd be even wider than the Alpine. But it's a fairly long track for that, for that year. So it's a pretty decent machine. It's all aluminum too. Uh, I believe the front's aluminum. No, the front's tin on this one and the rear is aluminum. Some of the other ones are aluminum front and rear. But uh, how do you find it for speed on the road, Heather? Oh, it's fast. I'll give you a ride out there. It yeah, it's for fast. A, for a 340, it's not too bad. It does about 65 mile an hour right now. But once I polish up those skis, get some rust knocked off, off there and some mud, get the sliders cleaned up a little bit, get everything loose, you know, uh, get some more gas in there. I think that thing's gonna fly. And they really pulled wood good. I had one years ago and they used to pull a good load of wood. They break trail nice and they would pull a good load. So I think that's gonna be a good little machine for us. We have another one over there we're going to go at. I have another one over there like this. I'm gonna build an engine for it as well. And I have uh, another body. I'm gonna put a 377 in there and I'm gonna give that a shot. This is a 340 body right now, but I put a 399 engine in it and it's still geared 340. So it could be geared a little higher so it would go a little faster, but all in all, that thing goes pretty darn good, I think. Well, that's it for today's uh, episode of Shade Tree Garage, folks. We will see you here next time. Take care and please hit that bell button so you get notification if you're interested in so you can see more videos when I upload them. Bye-bye.